The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. The future of a Bemidji veterans home was heavily discussed during the Beltrami County Board of Commissioners meeting today. Board members expressed concern that a proposed $10 million for the home through a state bonding bill would be pushed to next year. While last year's bonding bill could come up at any time on the Senate floor, the veterans home funding was not included in that version. The board members hope that area representatives would push for the funds to be included in a House version of the bill to be approved this year. I've been lobbying real hard and I've uh, got assurances from the leaders that it'll be, it'll be included, but that and a, a buck will get you a cup of coffee at McDonald's. So I, I plan on staying on top of it. During the meeting, Beltrami County Administrator Kay Mack expressed concern over the status of two tax bills in the House and Senate. Mack said that there was a possibility that corporations such as Enbridge may have been overtaxed due to appraisals conducted by the State Department. If Enbridge were to take that matter to tax court, the county would be required to pay the money back. That will devastate Clearwater County, but I'll tell you what, it will not be, I don't know what Beltrami County would do if we had to have to pay back. Ours would be about a quarter of a million dollars. The bills would require instead the, the state to pay the property tax money back to the taxpayer. So far, the two bills have had little movement and have only been referred to other committees. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.